Yes, sir. What's going on, y'all? My name is Brian Waldron, aka Billionaire B. If you've been following me for a while, in this video, I'll be going over step by step how you can easily find your next event space in as little as seven days. Now, I know a lot of people who follow me or who might have been interested in the event space industry in a whole are one of, one of the number one complaints is always, I can't find event space. I'm calling these realtors, I'm calling these brokers, I'm calling these landlords I've been searching for years, I'm not finding anything, right? One of the number one things I do wanna start off this video by saying, y'all know I like to go straight to it, and in case you're wondering why you should even listen to me, I was in brick and mortar event spaces for five years, did over three and a half million dollars in event space sales. Let's get back to it, you hear me? So, one of the biggest do's and don'ts I always let people know when they're coming into this business is that one, it is all about volume. Volume, you are not going to find these spaces, seeing one or two a month, it's not gonna happen. You have to see a lot of different venues. Not only that, when you're calling these realtors and these brokers, you have to, number one, be persistent. Number two, tell them what they wanna hear, which is why in Event Space Leads, we have an entire script that goes through the four O's of exactly what to tell the landlords and whatnot to avoid getting dubbed for a space. So now that we've isolated that, we've discussed that, let's get into it, all right? Understanding that this is all a volume game, how do we generate volume? Number one, listing sites. This is gonna, I wanted to put this one first because there is a lot to get into. However, and I hope y'all noticed that you've been following the channel for a little bit, you know, we, the whiteboard was on this side before. Before the whiteboard was on that side, but it wasn't really working with the sun, the sun wasn't really working with us, so now we kind of switched up the game plan a little bit, you feel me? Number one, listing sites. Listing sites are basically sites that host commercial listings. Like if you wanna go and find a commercial space, you'll go on these websites. Some of those websites are like Craigslist, yes, Craigslist, loopnet.com, and Craigsy. Now those are three ones that are good to start out with. In event space leads, we actually use about 12 different websites and actually call 500 to 700 locations a day. Yes, a day. So you, Susie at home, who's calling one or two locations a month, you're never gonna catch up. You're never gonna be able to find as many spaces because it's all volume, which is why we have an entire team of outreach specialists that call 500 to 700 locations a day to only send you pre-approved locations. Moving on, let's get to it. So, assuming that you're starting with just these three locations, one of the number one things you wanna do is you wanna keep your parameters wide. What I mean by parameters wide is your search filters. So some of the biggest things that we like to do is we go up to 4,000 square feet, we look at industrial, manufacturing, retail, and a few different others. It's kind of like a nice little mixture. Those are the top ones, and then we generally look at under $30 a square foot. Once you put in those print, once you put in those parameters of these websites, LoopNet, Craigslist, Craigslist, whatever the case may be, you should have a nice sample size of spaces to look out for your space. Now, at that point, all you gotta do, every single realtor, every single broker that you call, you gotta call them and see the space as quickly as possible. That's the number one thing. Now, understand, everybody's gonna say, oh my God, Brian, these places aren't calling me back. Of course they're not calling you back because you look super high risk. One of the number one things you wanna do, which is the why I mentioned the four O's before, is you wanna let these people know, one, you're not allowing liquor in your premises, two, you are going up to a certain amount of time, three, you are fully licensed and insured, and four, you have security on premises at all times. That's going to drastically increase the amount of places that call you back, allowing you to go ahead and see that venue. Number two, realtors. I might revisit this in just a second. Number two, Realtors, now I preface this by saying in event space leads, we don't work with realtors. Let me clarify this by saying we don't rely on realtors. Every single space is attached to a realtor that yes, you have to discuss with, you have to talk to, whatever the case may be, but we don't put all our eggs in one basket. A lot of times people who, before they join our program, they say, hey, I was working with this realtor for six months and he, I wanna go and he's not showing me any properties or anything like that, or he is showing me properties, but they never work out. Would you go to a doctor to learn how to grow food? No. So why are you going to these realtors expecting them to find you your space? Realtors know how to buy and sell property or how to lease property. They don't know how to run an event space. So why would you expect 
This realtor, who probably barely has a bachelor's degree respectfully and just has his real estate license, his or her, to understand how to put you into a venue. No, you want to go and get brain surgery, you go to a neurologist. You want to go to get your heart checked out, you go to a cardiologist. You go to a specialist. Realtors are not specialists, so stop looking at them as if they are specialists. They are specialists in buying and selling homes and leasing apartments and finding commercial properties. They are not experts in building events-based businesses. Cool. Now that we've understood that, let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. Number two, realtors. Now, yes, you can work with a realtor to find your property for you. Like I mentioned, I don't think that's a very valuable option. I don't think that's a reliable option. It's good to get some extra flow going like, hey, I'm working with this realtor, that realtor, this realtor, they're sending me some extra spaces, but I would not rely on it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Number three, which is a lot more reliable is driving for dollars. Now what driving for dollars essentially is, is I'm driving around my neighborhood, around commercial areas in certain like downtown, midtown, whatever the case may be, the suburbs, whatever area it is that you're looking at, finding your space. And I'm looking at for rent signs, for lease spaces, places that have been vacant for a while. I'll go call the number on the for rent sign and say, Hey, look, listen, my name is Brian. Is this place vacant? Oh, it is vacant. Awesome. My name is Brian. I'll be looking to lease an event space soon. Are you open to that? Boom, boom, boom. Hit it with a little script. Go ahead and see that space as quickly as possible. Key thing here, when you do get a hold of these properties, you have to see them as quickly as possible. Have to see them as quickly as possible because think about it. You, Mrs. I want to call one or two spaces a month. Those one or two spaces a month are going against one, every single client here in event space leads. And we're going to get it before you. And two, every other person who's trying to open up a barber shop, a hair salon, an automotive, or whatever the case may be, you're going against all these people. So you not following up with them, you're going to lose that property. So just to kind of do a quick little recap, listing sites is probably the most reliable. We always dig in and we just kind of do it on our own, calling these different websites. Like I mentioned, LoopNet, Crexy, and Craigslist are some of the most reliable ones. However, we actually use about 12 different websites and events basically to find all our clients' properties. Right now, our record is actually 21 days from the time somebody joined the program to the time somebody got inside their space. And we're super proud of that. Number two, realtors, like I mentioned, this isn't really my favorite whatsoever. I don't like relying on realtors. Frankly, most of them are lazy to me, um, but they are good to get some extra flow going. And every now and then you do get a realtor that is really up on their P's and Q's and will actually help you find a space. Number three, which is a little bit more reliable, driving four dollars. With driving four dollars, essentially when you're driving around your neighborhood, you will see for rent signs, you will see for lease signs. Highly recommend, just like everything else, jump on them as quickly as possible. And if you do all this right, ideally, we like to we like to call 10 to 20 locations. Like this is off your on your own. And event space leads, we're sending you this in 72 hours. But if you all are on your own, 10 to 20 locations per week is a good starting point. Like I mentioned, we call 500 to 700 locations a day. So, but if you are doing this on your own, 10 to 20 locations per week, three to five site visits a week, and you should be able to get a space within the next 30 days or so. Now, if you wanna get it seven days, multiply that by four. So now we're looking at 40 to 80 locations with 12 to 20 site visits a week. Those are your numbers, those are your metrics. 40 to 80 locations a week that you're calling, 12 to 20 site visits a week if you wanna get in seven days. And yes, I know this because I've done this. When we got our event space juniors, Blake and Dumont, we literally called 10 locations a day. We literally viewed five to 10 locations a day. So you or you, in whatever city you're in, trying to find a bed space as quickly as possible, it's not gonna cut it one to two locations every single month, which is why in event space elites, we call all these locations for you and we only send you locations that are pre-approved. Guys, my name is Brian Waldron. I hope this video was super, super helpful and informative. If it has been, definitely make sure you subscribe, like the video, throw a comment. If there are any videos that you do want like to see going forward, drop it in the comments and I'll be sure to look into it and hopefully we can see it on the channel sometime soon. If you are somebody who is interested in starting your own event space business and are looking for help to find, fund, and fill your own event space, 
I'm gonna drop the link below to apply for Event Space Elites where we can help you accomplish this amazing goal. And if you are a current venue owner who is looking to scale up and eventually take yourself out of the business and automate it, have a link for you to join our program, Scale Your Venue. Y'all, my name is Brian Waldron. Peace.